Hello friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our work. In the last video, we have seen registration part and we have successfully done registration with a message variable in our index page. As you can see in main.js page, we have uh, given this URL when user successfully registered. So he will go back to index page, index.php with a message, you are registered. Now you can log in, right? and uh, so i'm going to grab this message in index page here you can put the message inside container so let's take a php code and uh, let's say if is set dollar underscore you can say request message or you can also use get both are at same and uh, not empty dollar underscore get msg message now so we need a alert code bootstrap alert code so i'm going to visit get bootstrap.com and localhost and new project so here little scroll and you can see get started and uh, just visit components and here you can see alert the first component is alert scroll and this is all, all are the options of alert you can take any one of them but I want something uh, with close option so this is fine with we have a close option here so let's take, grab this or you can just press here copy and uh, paste in your text editor so before pasting just write uh, close the php and here in, in between this i can write i can html code okay i don't need strong so i'm going to remove this and i don't need this message also php echo dollar underscore get whatever the message we will display save it so let's test this okay my xamp is not running Okay, exam is started. Now let's try to put a message. Message equals to okay. hello. So you can see hello is a message here, and I can close it, or you can also change the color. Uh, this is a warning, right? Alert warning. You can change it to success. You can change it to danger. So hello. This is again green color. Let's close this. Now let's work on login part. And uh, so here is our login form just below the this code PHP code. So this is our form, right? Specify ID equals to form underscore register form underscore register and uh, on submit on submit equals to return false right save it and uh, okay I, I don't uh, need this I need ID so I'm going to remove this one and name it as log underscore email I also need name to get the form data and I need ID to validate the user right so here I will say name equals to log email, right? And I don't need this area described. Uh, here I will say e underscore error. But I want to show error if email is embedded, email field is embedded, and so I don't. I need this small tag copy and just paste uh, in after the password
remove the message and uh, you can see here p error password error if there is a embedded field so i will show embedded message okay i don't need anything oh yeah here we need id so remove this one Let's say log underscore password and same for name okay save it now in your main.js page so uh, say right here comment for login part what is the id login underscore form dot on event is submit function on submit get the data where write here email equals to hash log underscore email where password equals to log underscore pass so let's take a variable status equals to or false right and uh, and check if email dot well equals to empty you can also provide regular expression if you want but uh, in the last video i have already shown you how you can apply regular ex expression and this is a login form so i, I don't think it's uh, required here I just normal uh, validation in input uh, if it, it is empty field then i will show error message right so for this dollar and uh, let's take sorry it's uh, we have uh, given email dot add class um, the class name is border hyphen danger and uh, email okay it's a uh, hash e underscore error dot uh, html and uh, let's take a span Put this span here and uh, remove the message please enter email address and do the status equals to false now copy this content paste here email dot remove class and uh, this is here and uh, remove the spam message status make it true right copy this once again Just paste here and uh, write here if your pass dot value equals to blank so I will say pass dot add class border danger and pa hyphen error please enter password and uh, here pass dot remove class border danger and uh, okay this is blank p hyphen error and this is true once both email and password is entered we will take the variable status so means it is true and uh, i can say alert ready but okay, there is a problem login underscore form index it is uh, form 
sorry it's a uh, form underscore copy and in your main.js page form so long save it refresh still not working uh, maybe the reason is let me uh, see the console sources js file main.js okay the code is not added right now you can see the console don't have any code i have uh, you can face this situation so how you can solve this just save your code and refresh and you are not if you are not getting your code in this j in, in your main.js file i have written uh, I, have, I have seen code only for registration but not for login right just uh, re reset your browser settings remove the cache clear your cache reset reset so i cleared my cache now again refresh now you can see the code for login i have written right okay let me check once again ready please enter email address if i enter email ready so this is not right log email log password it's actually password log password right save it refresh now it's fine enter any one of them the error is removed from here but here is error now it's fine so validate your code and grab your this is x code copy and once status is okay is true then i will send this uh, uh, email address and password to the php script process.php page and this will be form underscore login and serialize the data function uh, this is the response and uh, okay just remove this might help what we can get from user class we can get first we can get a not registered right so just copy this in your process.php sorry main.js right here so if data or response is not registered so i can say here it seems like you are not registered and uh, okay it's better to give it enough form correct format copy this uh, we don't require false status so here right seems like you are not registered and if data is another what we can get from user login class password not matched first we are getting not we can get not registered we can also get password not matched right so copy this string and in your main.js file remove this some error and paste here password not matched and get the and sorry for this hammer sound copy someone is hamming somewhere
so add class border danger and uh, please enter correct password and uh, for for future uh, to find the error or what we are getting i can say here put the console dot log data to see error and uh, once we are ready so let's see it's working or not refresh enter email address Give the password now enter the password okay it says local host right so it is not checking my password okay user.php <laughs> sorry for that now right here for login processing for uh, registration processing if set all underscore post uh, log underscore email and again I'm so sorry for this uh, weird sound this is so irritating but i can't do anything log and scroll log and scroll path. once the if email and password is set we can create the object of user class user equals to new user user call the function user login pass the data dollar underscore post log email dollar underscore post log underscore password and store this into a result variable equal dollar result once uh, it is uh, return something it can return uh, user uh, not register or it can return password not matched so whatever it will return i will match here password and i will say alert file save all and refresh the browser enter the correct email address but not the password right enter wrong password so please enter correct password we are getting correct message okay enter the correct password again I'm entering wrong password I think now let's check so you can see one so this is the first user who registered in our website or application okay and once we are getting the data correct data I can say here uh, window dot location dot href equals to domain plus slash and uh, what I can write here uh, dashboard dashboard dot php save this let's do login once again reload yes we are in welcome page admin page so in the next video we will continue with the process of adding categories or uh, brands and uh, other things right so don't forget to like and subscribe and put your comment give me your feedback how much you are liking it